A first of its kind facility to help veterans and first responders is being built in Forest Lake. The Invisible Wounds Project Support Center will be a place of healing and connection for thousands of frontline workers. Joe Mason looks at the project. We're going to build like a second wall. Russ Haynes is planning a dream project. Into our woodworking shop. But the man in charge. We want everything to have a therapeutic vibe. Knows what it feels like to live in a nightmare. You want to end the pain. Nearly a decade ago, the former police officer and 911 dispatcher had PTSD. You're just constantly in stress and you're constantly feeling horrible. He thought about taking his own life. Literally deciding, you know, making a plan of how am I going to do it. Now in a former Forest Lake church. We'll come into these doors over here. The founder of the nonprofit Invisible Wounds Project is opening a support center for veterans and first responders. It's just a place for them to go and be with others who understand them. The quarter of a million dollar project will include a woodworking shop, yoga studio and therapy for connection and healing. We want them to realize that they're not alone. It's designed to help vets and first responders improve their lives, especially their mental and physical health. I want them to have a better life. I mean, our goal is to help change and save lives. Russ hopes to start construction here in a few weeks and have the center open by April. When they walk out of here, we want them to be better off than they were when they came in. After facing his demons, Russ is a survivor. I am blessed to be here. Now in a former church, he does the work of an angel, helping others live. In Forest Lake, Joe Mason, 5 Eyewitness News. Joe says the Invisible Wounds Project has reached 20% of its fundraising goal. We'll have a link with this story at KSTP.com right now if you'd like to help. You will also find links to mental health resources that we encourage you to take advantage of.